What up everybody? Instructor Boots back again talking about subtracting decimals today, which goes along with our adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing decimal song. Check it out after you get done with the lesson. Today I will be able to subtract decimals by lining up my place values. Our steps for adding and subtracting, right? So the first thing we're going to do is we line up our place values by lining up our decimals. Then we want to fill in place value holders if you need to. Take it one step at a time. And as always, drop a like it's hot. And so let's take a look and um, our shortcut for when we subtract, right? And so this is kind of the rhyme that we use. More on the top, no need to stop. More on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. So each place value we're asking ourselves, do we have more on the top or do we have more on the floor? For more conceptual knowledge, please check out our subtracting whole numbers, borrowing across whole numbers um, to really understand what's happening when we're borrowing. But today we're just going to be using the shortcut. We're going to look at three different levels of questions that you might see for decimals. The first one is level one. I classify level one as both numbers clearly have a decimal. At this point, it's really easy to line up our place values because we can very clearly see both decimals. So I'm going to go ahead and write down 32,456 and one hundred minus, right? And so I want to line my place values up by lining my decimals up first. So I make sure these are lined up. Now my ones place is lined up, my tens place is lined up, my hundreds place is lined up, and my tenths place is lined up. It's okay that all your digits aren't lined up because if you want to, you can put zeros as place value holders because if you don't have anything, that's what zero means. So now we just want to take it one step at a time, starting with our smallest place value, which is my hundreds. So one minus zero, more in the top, no need to stop. Zero minus six, can't do that. More on the floor, go next door, get 10 more. So I'm going to become a 10 hundredths. So now 10 minus 6 is 4. I want to, woohoo, drop a leg is ha hot. 5 minus 2, more on the top, no need to stop. 5 minus 3, more on the top, no need to stop. 4 minus 5, more on the floor, go next door, get 10 more. 14 minus 5 is 9. I can put my comma there. 1 minus 0, obviously, more on the top, no need to stop. More on the top, no need to stop. And so I'm going to say 31,923 and 41 hundredths equals D. Now, if this is your first video you've watched of ours, um, this is a shortcut for really borrowing. You might not understand what's happening. You might just, you know, more on the floor, go next door, get 10 more. That's great. That will help you. But please check out our borrowing from whole numbers and our borrowing across zeros whole numbers instructional video so you can really conceptually see conceptually see what is happening when you're barring. It's very important not just to know what you're doing, but why it works and why you're doing it, right? So that one's pretty easy, right? Level one, both had decimals. Let's check out level two. So what is the difference between three hundred and two and thirty four hundredths, right? Now remember we always want to circle the word difference because this is means we're subtracting. It's the answer to a subtraction problem. Now the reason I say this is level two is because it's very easy to fall into the trick of not lining up your place values. So a lot of people would just kind of be moseying along, right? And they'd line up their digits because they've been hearing that since first grade. But the problem is this is your ones place for 300 and this is your ones place for this number and your place values aren't lined up. If you look, you have your ones place lined up with your hundreds place. Cannot do that when you're subtracting. You have your tens place lined up with your tenths place. Cannot do that. And you have your ones place lined up with your hundreds place. Can't do that. So the reason I say this is level two is because you have to have a brain on you, which hopefully you do, and you have to do uh, see do what I like to call see the unseen. So let me erase this first. Seeing the unseen simply means you know that when it's a whole number, there is a decimal. It's always there. Sometimes they don't want to waste ink and write it, but it's always next to our ones place. So you see the unseen, right, kind of like our magnifying glass says, and you put your decimal where it is, even though it wasn't there to begin with. It's always next to the ones place. Now we can write our decimal here, and we can make sure that we line up our place values, right? And so that's a really easy mistake to make, but it's really easy to not make, too, if you just pay attention make sure your place values are lined up, which is step one. So now I'm going to put zeros here as place value holders just to help me, okay? 
and then I'm going to subtract, taking it one step at a time. 0 minus 4. I cannot do that. And I'm going to have to go across all of these zeros to find my 300, which will become a 2. And then I give it back one place value at a time. Still can't do 0 minus 4. More on the floor, go next door, get 10 more. So this becomes a 10. Still can't do that. Right? That becomes a 9. This place value becomes a 10. Still can't subtract. That becomes a 9. This place value becomes a 10. Now I can do 10 minus 4 is 6. 9 minus 3, more in the top, no need to stop. That's going to be 6. I'm going to drop it like it's ha ha. Drop my decimal. 9 minus 2 is 7. Right? More in the top, no need to stop. More in the top, no need to stop. More in the top, no need to stop. So my answer is 297 and 66 hundredths. Right? And that makes sense. And again, we want to make sure we put our decimal there because if you don't, then that number just became 29,766. And I would rather pay $297 rather than $29,000 if I was buying something. So let me erase this, okay? And in honor of you seeing the unseen, we are going to erase right here. And ooh, great job, right? So let's go to level three. Now, level three is a please excuse my dear Aunt Sally problem in order of operations. I'm, I like to write down my order of operations right here. And I have parentheses, so I need to solve that first. Okay, so I need to solve my parentheses first. But it's a level three problem because, again, I have a whole number here adding to the decimal. So I need to make sure I see my unseen and add my decimal to my ones place. Now I can make sure that I line my place values up, right? It's not about lining your digits up, it's about lining your place values up. Now your ones are lined up, you can put a zero for your tenths and a zero for your hundredths. Take it one step at a time, that's five, that's four, I drop it like it's ha ha, and that is ten and forty-five hundredths. So inside my parentheses, that is really ten and forty-five hundredths. I rewrite this, okay, and now I'm doing eleven minus ten and forty-five hundredths. So I'm going to erase this, and now I need to subtract. And again, this is level three because Again, you have a whole number minus a decimal, which means you need to see the unseen and put that decimal there to help you line up your place values. So now I have 11 holes minus, and again, I'm going to line my place values up. And it's okay if your digits aren't lined up because your ones place is lined up, your tens place is lined up. Now your tenths and your hundreds place are lined up. So can't do zero minus five, more on the floor, go next door, can't borrow. This got to go all the way here. Act like the decimal is not even there. It doesn't matter right now. So now still can't do 0 minus 5. So now I'm going to borrow here. Now I can do more on the top. No need to stop. More on the top. No need to stop. Drop it like it's hot. 0 minus 0, 0. That's a 0. And so I can write my answer as 0, 0 and 55 hundredths. But really I don't need my tens place. And really I don't need my ones place as long as I put my decimal. So I could put... 55 hundredths or 55 hundredths. Okay, sometimes it might be good to put that zero in the ones place. In honor of you guys doing so well, we are going to see the unseen. Ooh, that's a big one. Woo! You are doing a freaking awesome, oh, great job. So great job on this. Uh-oh, forgot my decimal. Can't erase the decimal. 55 is different than 55 cents. And so great job today. As always, please check us out on Instructed Beats. Check out our other instructional videos for any skills you might want to work on. You can follow us on Instagram at, at Instructed Beats. And please, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hopefully you click the thumbnail for our adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing decimal song. Instructed Beats, out!